this week the overnight temperatures are beginning to drop pretty low, which means we wake up in the morning and we feel a chill in the air, which we're not quite used to from this very warm summer that we're just coming off of. But it also means that some of the plants in our garden are nearing their end and we're gonna have to start collecting all those tomatoes off, off of their vines and paying close attention to everything else. When the weather gets colder in the fall, that impacts the living things around us in a lot of different ways. When it gets colder in the winter, it impacts us even more and living things get dormant. And then I get really excited because of the snow falls and it means I get to get my skis out. We're about to start a unit called Accentuate the Negative, and it's gonna be focusing a lot on operations with integers. By operations, of course, we mean things like adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing. Um, you will have a much stronger definition of integers, but if you think positive and negative when you hear the word integers, you're on the right track. And that's the most important thing. Um, what happens when the temperature drops below zero? So if it's 20 degrees at nighttime and the temperature drops to eight below zero, how much did the temperature drop? How would you write that as a math problem? 20 minus question mark. Let's call it X. 20 minus X equals negative eight. What would X be? That's an algebraic equation, and it's one that you will be able to solve. If you can already, uh, give it a try. Hey, maybe you can, maybe, maybe that's one you can determine. Um, and we're gonna wanna be able to take that equation apart and understand every aspect of it. What if the temperature starts at eight degrees below zero and rises to 20 degrees above zero. What if it starts at eight degrees below zero and the temperature drops to 15 degrees below zero? How does that look if it were written as a math problem? We need to understand these things so we always make the right calculations when we solve more complex problems having to do with positives and negatives in the future. And you might be thinking, well, I don't really need to do math problems having to do with the weather. I just look at the weather forecast and let the forecaster figure that out. Well, you will have to determine positives and negatives and work with positives and negatives at some point in your life when you're dealing with finances. Not my most favorite topic in the world, talking about making money or losing money or saving money. It tends to make my head spin a little bit, but I am quite confident that I can handle those numbers if they come up. And I want you to be too. So be thinking about what happens when that number dips below zero. And when you go from a number that's below zero upward to a number that's above zero, or downward to a number that's even further below zero, or upward to a number that's still below zero, but not quite as much below zero. These are all the things that we want to be fully grasping during this unit. When we get to multiplying and dividing those numbers, that's actually a simpler process than adding and subtracting them. So be thinking about that. Be thinking about ways that those numbers are relevant, positives and negatives. Temperature is really common and keeping track of finances. What does it mean to be, quote, in the red or in the black? Those are two terms that are used to represent whether a business is doing really well or whether it's struggling. And um, a lot of businesses right now, during an unprecedented global pandemic, are really struggling. So are they in the red or are they in the black? And what does that mean? Okay, more later, just wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up as to what's to come. And enjoy this unit, because there's a lot to be learned from it and there's some pretty interesting stuff. And ask questions when you need to, because that's gonna be really important. Ask questions of me, ask questions of each other, work together, problem solve together, and we'll get there. All right, talk to you soon.